Oh, hatte jetzt zuletzt ein paar Handgelenkprobleme. Wollen hoffen, dass das heute keinen Einfluss nimmt. Drücken ihm die Daumen. The Cobra! Jelle Klassen! Es ist das Duell der aktuellen Nummer 9 der Welt gegen die 6. Er stand auch schon in einem WM-Finale 2010, ebenfalls bei der BDO. Hat inzwischen drei PDC-Major-Finals erreicht, elf Proto-Turniere gewonnen. Und er bleibt sich seiner Linie treu, wenn er in Deutschland spielt, dann auch auf die Musik von deutschen Bands. Hey, hier kommt Alex von den Toten Hosen, das ist die Walk-On-Musik von ihm. Hey, hier kommt Chizzy, Dave Chisnell. Und Caller dieses dritten Achtelfinals ist the voice himself, Russ Bray. Well, it's an old Premier League clash on stage here at the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. We've got one quarterfinal set up as the number eight seed Ian White takes on the world number one Michael Van Gerwen in our opening match of this evening's session coming live from Halle 39 in Hildesheim at seven o'clock this evening. A session to see the four quarterfinals, the two semis and the final for £25,000. But this one will determine the opening spot in our second quarter final. Jelle Klaassen and Dave Chisnell. I say it's a Premier League clash. Not for very much longer, because Jelle's not going to be in the Premier League beyond the next week. Chris Murphy joins me in the commentary box. Russ Bray on stage to call this one, as introduced by our esteemed MC Elmar Polka. We've already been treated to a couple of chants of Elmar Polka is Stein Geiler Sau. And just for those of you who don't speak German, that means Elmar Polka is a sexy pig. Fans love that song. That's the literal translation. It basically means he's a hunk. And they're quite right, he is. So is Chris Murphy. Here he is. <laughs> no one will ever know. Heard but not seen, Dan. First Game on! Unlike my esteemed colleague, the new face of a, a TV show. 57. And our resident expert, me and Rob Malarkey, have decided, in the absence of Paul Nicholson, who went and did something stupid like qualified for the event. So now you're the expert, and your first uh, act to the pundit was to tip Christo Reyes to beat Michael Van Gogh, which we decided to tell the world. Wasn't so, far off, though, was he? So which way do you see this one going 84. down? Well... I think this is a difficult one to call because I had my reservations about Yellow Class and his injury and whether he could go and do some damage wow. today over the course of four games. But he managed to get through one game yesterday and he won it pretty convincingly against Mick McGowan, 6-1. Wasn't superb, but he managed to get the job done. We still saw good finishing from Yellow. So... I think I've still got a side with Chizzy, but that's only because of the injury. If it was a fully fit Yeller from last year, I think we'd have a very, very difficult game to call. Oh. Yeah, of course, Dan Dawson's referring One to... Eight. Referring to Yeller Classon's wrist injury, which has shown no signs of stopping him in this tournament so far. Of course, Dave Chisnell has been a wounded beast as well. He fell off a table before wow, the World man, Championship and injured his ankle. In fact, this pair met at the World Championship and Chisnell beat Klaassen in the last 16 before losing out to Gary Anderson in the quarterfinals. Also beat him in the Players' Championship finals, but Klaassen beat Dave Chisnell in the Premier League, his only victory of the season. Yeah, they've had some real battles. Oh, it's good. Double top for Chizzy. Oh, you see the wire bend Yellow, there. Unable to produce the break of throw. Yeller's not going to hold here because he's fired that into the skinny one. 36. Immediately. Don't ending any hopes. Fold. And you can see shaking the wrist there already in leg one. That does not bode well for fans of the Cobra. This might, though, if Chiz is missing his doubles. 20. Yellow, you require 64. Never see him shake it when he hits what he's going for, do you, Dan? Not very often. Game show the first leg. Let's have a look, shall we? Yellow Klassen, second leg, no, Dave. Not a single play. shake or stretch of the hand there. So recovered from the slip with a 64 checkout to win the first One leg. Round 40. 
Impressive stuff from Ian White in the previous game. Very impressive. And One. I think if you're looking at potential new winners of a European Tour event, when you look at the field we've got here, I think you have to consider Ian White as a potential one because you don't a win two. the number of PDC titles that Ian White has done by luck. You win it by knowing how to go and play One consistently excellent frozen. darts through the course of a day. Which is his, won his fair share of PDC titles as well. I counted Sixth. 11. Mm, yeah. 11 in total. Including this frozen. tournament in 2013. His sole Euro Tour victory, although he did make back to back finals last year. Class and beat Chisnell here last year, didn't he, as well? Beat him in the semi finals, 6 4. Went on to lose to Alan Norris. Very disappointing finale for Yellow Class and as was the finale of that combination checkout. Nowhere near the bullseye. Just for a hold of throw here to prevent himself going 2 0 down. He's juggling his darts. He needs to find a treble. He doesn't find a treble. And so Clarsen will come back and having 54. survived darts from yeah, Chizzy in the opening 38. leg, he may be about to go 2 0 up. Straight at the double 19. Does like the double 19. Doesn't really like it from over there. No score. Don't you require faulty. Well, Chisnell gambled on the 94, not going the bullseye route at the beginning and then not going the double-double route after hitting the single 18, but he's ended up on double top because Klassen has missed three clear darts at double. Indeed. Chisnell missed two. 20. He's not really getting that close. Well, and we know that every now and again, Dave Chisnell has these days where the doubles just don't go. Oh, the must score. score. Dave, you require 20. And I don't know how many doubles you have to miss when you're Dave Chisnell. For if you start thinking, maybe it's one of those days. Because he is a long way off with a lot of these darts. And that's no closer. Oh, finally, Chizzy. One up! Well, two top ten players in action here. And that's top class darts from Yellow Carson as the... 180 tally surpasses 150 in this tournament. 82. Dodge end to the last leg, but Klassen started in style this time, although that one's 83. gone wayward. Now you see, nine darts missed by Dave Chisnell before he pinned one. Yellow Klassen has missed six darts at double already. That's like mine and yours, double percentage. 42. Well, with a decimal point missing. Well, he's not far off. Kevin Painter and Simon Whitlock yesterday. 95. Yes, it is average. Mm, distinctly. But Clarsen has left a finish after 41. three visits to the board and <laughs> looking very, very good to go back into the lead at 2-1 because Dave Chisholm is absolutely 93. nowhere and needs to find a trademark Chizzy 180 just to get to a finish. We thought Michael Van Gogh in not near his best earlier one against Christo Reyes. It was pushed hard by these Clarsen. You do have to pace yourself in these tournaments, don't you? You've got to win four games in a day, but you've also got to win to have any chance of doing that. Well, that's it. 30. It's always good to get better as the tournament goes on because you may need your best stuff to beat the other players who are in form. But unfortunately, there's no point leaving something in the tank if you get knocked out in round three. 100. Yeah. Yellow, you require 20. No point having a car full of fuel if you're never going to drive it. Oh, Ten dear score. me. Well, the doubling is shocking from these two. Can Chizzy produce a ton plus? Going on what we've seen in the first couple of legs, probably not. But he's given himself a chance. 96. Double yeah, 19 has caused 10. problems for the pair so far. Now double 5 is troublesome for Klassen. How would he fare on double 2? Not very well. Dave, you require 19. Yeah, that Klassen had 60% on his doubles yesterday. He's closer to 6% right now. 
15. Oh, Jesus. He's been let off. Yeah, you require four. Here he is. Yella Classen. Full flag take the throw first. Game on. Well, what you can say about this, it provides drama. 16. 8 and 13%, folks. 100. Well, surely at some point, a spark will fly in this game, will catch light, because these two players, well, they're number six and number nine in the world. Mm. It cannot go on 85. like this, Dan. Well, two of the most consistent players on the European Tour over the last 18 months or so. You know, Dave Chisnell had a superb run. 60. Second half of last year, let's say back-to-back -back finals. Yellow over the last two years has been excellent on the European Tour. Obviously pipped in a deciding leg by Alan Norris in the final of this event. So yet to claim the first Euro Tour title. Here we go. More like it, isn't it? Yeah. Winner! Right. Waste of excellence in a desert of dross from Dave Chisnell. 134. Now then, Chizzy. Comes down the board. 58. No, that just opens the door for Clarsen. And with the way they've both finished, I think neither of them is going to panic if you see the other one closing in on the double because he's taking forever just to hit it. You think you're going to get a shot at some point. Well, 118. Might end up double on 19, 19 again. again. Not to be. Made himself double 12 instead. Yeah, Yellow class and look at triple 19 here. Gets it. Two darts. Only Game needs the one. Four what four is player. going on here? Yellow I didn't realise you could take out finishers in Fifth first start. Yellow to throw first. Certainly Game these on. two didn't. Well, Chizzy had a 180. Clarkson with a 73 finish. It's just 60. starting to uh, warm up a little bit. Larson reaching the dizzying heights of 17.5% finishing stats. 78. thing is, both of these are quite capable of not missing any darts that double from now until the end of the match. I would, you know what? With 85. the ludicrous nature of darts and dart players, we'll probably see a ton 70 checkout at some point before the end of this one. It's the kind of nonsense these guys provide. 58. And that's why we love it. That's why you love it. Do love it. Love darts. Wouldn't you? Two and a half thousand people crammed into Halle 39 in Hildesheim. It's only a hundred thousand people in Hildesheim. One in 40 people from Hildesheim are here. Yeah, and the other one just couldn't get ticket. Yeah. They're watching outside on their phones. 45. With the sound off. Obviously. Well, this is off. 38. From Yellow Carson. Yeah. First time that Dave Chisler made the quarterfinals of the World Championship. Strange that, you wouldn't have thought it, would you? But by beating Yellow Clarsen in the last 16, having made a number of major finals, Dave Chisnell, he just never really managed to get it done at the Worlds, even though he's one of the guys who'd beaten Phil Frozen. Taylor a few years ago. He's a very elite club he joined when he knocked Phil Taylor out of the World Championship early. Yeah, I, don't, I hope he's not listening. Phil, don't remind him of that one. He doesn't like that, does he? I think Phil's probably not. Sixty. And these two won't want to be reminded of this one, will they, in years to come? Fifty-six. Well, whoever comes through it, if they then go and turn it on in the evening session, which they are quite capable of doing, then they'll quite happily look back fondly on that dreadful game of darts one that they managed to secure a win. Right then, we saw Peter Wright with a table turning 160 yesterday, one of two in the tournament. Klassen is not going to follow a suit. And Chisnell looking at 77 to move back Don't within one. And it will be for a break. Well, Klassen took out 73 in two darts. Chizzy might be about to take out 77 in Game two. Of well, play. it's easy, isn't it? It's so easy, this double. What are they doing early on? First. Game on. 
Well, the winner takes on Benito van der Pass or Jan Decker in the quarterfinals this evening. That's coming up next. Well, Klaassen does convert this 3-2 lead into a win. We are guaranteed 100. a Dutchman in the semi-final, of course. Some people would argue you're going to see a Dutchman in the semi-final anyway. Because Michael van Gerwen's here. He's always in the semis and usually the final and usually winning it. And many of the odds compilers would suggest before the tournament it's guaranteed mm. that a Dutchman would be in the quarter semis and the final. But he's not been quite as dominant from MVG at the start of this year. So he did say he's back yesterday after... Uh, Hitting the highest average of the tournament so far, 111.451 against Jermaine Watamina. 58. But he also said that his defeat against Raymond Van Barnabas in the Premier League was the worst he's played all season. 101. Worse than when he was beaten by Steve Beaton. Worse than when he was beaten by Richie Edhouse. Worse than when he was beaten by Darren Johnson. All of them have done it in the last few weeks. Can Ian White get the job done? against Michael Van Gerwen tonight. Chisnell's getting the job done now. One hour and 80! So, Chizzy, to level things up, he was 3-1 down. Davey Require, 28. Now looks at the... Mensor, the double 14. Mensor was lethal on this yesterday, as Mensor usually is. And Dave Chisnell will be similarly deadly. Ooh, not those two. That's where it needs to be. Dave Chisholm, we do have a level game. First. 59. I think he was six out of seven, wasn't he, Mensa Solivic, yesterday? Yes, he was. 83. It was quite the display from the gentle. We will see him back in action in the final game of this afternoon against Joe Cullen. And what a match that could be, because Joe One Cullen looked in the mood 23. last night. Seeing off Jamie Bain. Two non-seeds left. That's a Jan Decker and Kevin Painter. 134. Painter in action against Gerwin Price. Just before Sullivich takes to the stage. 77. I wonder if the German crowd actually know what they're saying. 58. Did they give it the full Will Griggs on fire in Hildesheim? I'm not sure. I'm... It sort of sounds 58. a bit like Will Griggs on fire. One hundred. They're just like a tune, don't they? Ninety-six. Well, when the entertainment's not being provided Are on the stage, they just certainly know how to make it for themselves, don't they? Uh, well, they certainly enjoy themselves as Chisno. Well, hang on. Seventy-six. You well, require eighty-eight. He's miscounted there. I don't think he has. I think. Russ Bray called 116. Oh, right, I see. We've got a scoreboard here. I beg your pardon. Dave, you require 40. I was wondering about the route there for Dave Chisholm. But... Well, he does want double top. He seems to be wondering about the route here. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's not making it look simple. 30. We've gone back to Yelling early doors in this 50. game. Oh, well, Klassen follows suit. Or will he regain the lead? Game There's your answer. The leg. Yellow Klassen, eighth leg Dave to throw first. Game on. Well, three missed darts from Dave Chisnell. Would have been a third consecutive leg and a break of throw there. But Yellow Klassen has punished him. It has not been pretty at this match. The finishing has been pretty atrocious. One round of four. Well, the upshot is Yella Klaassen is two legs away from a place in the quarterfinals to face either Jan Decker or Benito van der Pass and give himself an opportunity to improve.
140. Yeah, and this pair have met twice this year, and Carson's got the better of Chisholm on both of those occasions. Looks like he'd be 140. Doing so again. I think he's been slightly better, hasn't he, than Dave Chisholm in this match? But it's there's not a great deal between them, is there? Yeah, he's missed 14 darts at double compared to Chizzy's 18. 40. Yeah, two decent legs. Everything else, well, not of the standard 60. that you would expect. On the European Tour, let alone on the final day of the European Tour. Yeah, five legs, 20 darts or more. 120. A little bit more like it. Yellow Clarkson's going to give himself a couple of darts for a 5 3 lead. And that may be too big an obstacle for even the great Chizzy. 125. Yellow, you require 54. Topsy wants. Game Topsy gets the eighth from Yellow Clarkson. Yellow Clarkson, ninth He's leg. Finishing. Yellow throw first. Has Came improved on. markedly ever since that fourth leg when he took out 73 and 2 well, you mentioned yesterday, Dan, that uh, Clarkson's new MO is to try and leave tops rather than double 18. Chizzy's a, a man who favours double 18 as well, but he's mm. working 64. out for him in this tournament so far. Ooh, look at the well, speed from Fawzi. Yellow Clarkson. and that's quick even for him. Maybe just trying to get something going. 60. I must admit, I expected us to be finished by now in this particular match, but even if it had gone 11 legs. 121. But Yella looking to get this done in a hurry, and he's sped up in this leg, and it seems to have worked for him. 36. Yeah, done just the trick for Yella Clarkson, who's looking at a turn for a 12 darter. 80. One match dart missed, but he's going to get more. He's Yella Clarsen. He'll be like Happy Gilmore when he approaches that hockey because he runs 60. up to it and releases Yellow, the dart in one movement. Well, he does normally, apart from Dave Chisholm was dawdling, but it matters not because he's pinned double ten and it's a 6 3 win. It was pretty dreadful in the early stages, but Clarsen built up ahead of steam and he does put his place in the quarter finals. He made the final here last year. He'll be hoping to go one better and claim a first Euro Tour title. He's going to have to do it despite the tendonitis in his wrist. But Benito van der Pass or Jan Decker is the man that stands between the Cobra and the semi-finals later on this evening. We're going to find out which one of them is going to face Yella in just a few moments' time. But let's grab a quick couple of words as Dave Chisnell bows out of the tournament. Die können gleich zu den Fans. Dave Chisnell. Yella, sometimes it's strange. It's, it's not... It's not playing your best, it's uh, playing better than the opponent. <laughs> yeah, hitting the last double again, uh, that's what I did. So. Thank you, thank you. I was really surprised. Uh, I expected a fast match. Dave was waiting and then preparing. I've, I've never seen that with him. Uh, me neither. Uh, couldn't get going, uh, he was very slow. And the last three legs I thought I'm just going to play fast and I hit the treble, so... How is the wrist doing? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> really not good? It's hurting every time? Yeah, yeah, but I won, so I'm happy. Okay, see you later again. Thank you, Jelle. Jelle Klassen. Es geht nicht immer darum, die besten Darts zu spielen. Es geht darum, besser zu sein als der andere. Wenn ich das richtig im Kopf habe, richtig gesehen habe, ein 81er Average von Jelle Klassen und damit.